Mochi sleeping on his little flamingo bed, all comfortable. Oatmeal is done. Gonna add a little bit of this PB Fit powder. up a little blue matcha this morning with my boss's wife. It's delicious. What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alessandra. If you are new here, I'm gonna take you guys along for another day in the life working at 9 to 5. We're here at the office. I met up with my boss's wife to just do some decorating, sprucing up around the office, hanging up some decals and frames, all that good stuff. Because eventually when we hire people, we want the office to look like an office. So that is what is on the to-do list today and I believe tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the day. We got a little matcha earlier before we got started. It was really good. And little Tina's here in downtown Tampa. You should definitely try it out if you guys live around this area. It's a really cute coffee shop, but let's get started with the day. I'm not here a lot, so this mouse is dead. Placing a quick little Instacart order. I don't have any wall art going on right now besides like, oh, well, this is a whiteboard, but we have two frames here. They're probably gonna hang up today, I believe, as well. Let me show you guys what we just did. We just hung up these frames. This is nobody's office, but at least it'll be ready to go whenever somebody does end up using it so we made sure these are matching and then we have this one right here in the corner this one was hung up a few weeks ago but this is pretty cool it reminds me of this one artist i cannot think of what his name is my boyfriend knows but it's pretty cool this is my favorite area though it's like this fake grass wall and we made this sort of like a chill hangout spot a little bathroom break and i'm about to order fresh kitchen for myself because i didn't bring any lunch with me i just ate my oatmeal this morning and my matcha so i need something for lunch i didn't even grocery shop for this week either so i'm probably gonna have to do that today as well but i'm gonna order my fresh kitchen and then continue hanging up some stuff and then take a little lunch break got some frames finally up in my office super cute I feel like an hour of waiting lunch has finally arrived and if you've been watching my videos you know the deal we obviously got some fresh kitchen cookies as well. Leaving the office, I'm taking some of these frames home and this mirror because they're these Prada Louis Vuitton ones. They look cute. My sister's taking this one and then the other two. I'm not really sure where those are going yet, but I'm taking them. Fingers are literally dying <laughs> trying to hold these because they're pretty heavy. Not gonna lie. All right, y'all, we are finally going home. It is four o'clock. The traffic says about 45 minutes, which isn't awful, but it means we need to hurry up and hopefully shave down a few minutes of that because I need to go home, change into a gym outfit so I can go hit a leg workout. It's a quad and glute day today. Um, but I had a really great day. I wasn't able to show you guys too much stuff just because like I don't want to put my boss's wife on camera and like make things like weird or anything. Plus we were just trying to get things done because a lot of the stuff that we were doing was very tedious, especially the decals. You have to be so like precise and make sure there's no bubbles in it, make sure it lines up, that it's leveled and everything. So it's just a little bit of a hassle to have the camera pulled out. So I tried to just show you guys a couple clips throughout the day. 
But um, yeah, I didn't really do any computer work. I didn't really have anything that came in, thankfully, but I was already busy helping her out. And I thought that I was gonna have to come tomorrow, but change of plans. We did everything that she would need me for today. Um, so tomorrow, the, the stuff that she has to do is just things she can do alone that she would rather just you know do on her own, which I totally get because sometimes when you have someone helping you, if it's, it's not, if it's something that you can do yourself, like quicker it's better to just be alone so I totally understand that's kind of how I am with the gym like sometimes I don't mind working out with somebody but I like to be in and out and having to wait for my partner to do their set and whatever it just adds on more time so anyways let's get driving I also have to drop off these frames at my house see which one my sister wants because these are kind of like coastally ocean frames and she's trying to do that sort of vibe in her room so i figured i'll just bring them both home and i don't know maybe the mirror i don't know if she wants it but if they don't work out then we'll just donate them so let's get going we got a 45 minute drive out guys i really need to change my windshield wipers it's becoming like you know summertime eventually which means hella rain and my windshield wipers suck like you hear how much it squeaks and when it rains, it just kind of slides the rain off. It doesn't really clean it off of the windshield, which makes it even harder to see things. I wish that I was just like a quick 10 minute drive from the office because when I do start going back to the office regularly, um, which I don't really have a solid date on when that exactly is gonna be. We're just kind of playing things by ear right now. Oh, and I'm stopped on the train tracks, no. Okay. Um, I would love to live like 10 minutes from the office because it just makes driving to the office and leaving the office so much better because when you've already been at work all day or you have like a long day ahead of you, knowing the traffic that you have um, waiting for you is just the worst. I mean, I love working in downtown because I, I just love this area. I love South Tampa, but I wish that I just I lived closer. That would be so ideal you know, when I'm in the office again, like Monday through Friday. But for now, I'm just gonna soak in my work from home days as much as possible because I, like I said, I don't know when that's ending for me. So I'm just trying to soak those days in as best as I can and enjoy them because it's not forever. But it's definitely helped me save a lot of gas money, a lot of miles on my car, lots of benefits to it. Obviously you don't get like the social aspect of like seeing your coworkers or your bosses and stuff. Um, but you know, I guess there's pro kind of pros and cons to everything. So, and my camera's dying, so that's good. I'll, I'll probably won't be able to talk to you guys until I get home and I can get a fresh battery. Something about me is I refuse to let you in if you're trying to cut through here, because I'm sorry. First off, you shouldn't be doing that. Second off, there's an exit right there that you can get right back onto the highway. And I've been waiting in this lane for so long now in stop and go traffic i'm not letting you cut in front of me i don't know if that's rude but i in my opinion i think it's rude if you're literally cutting the entire line just to cut me off not happening babe had to order two new remotes for my tv because when i washed my sheets on friday i didn't realize that mine was bundled up in the sheets so i got all wet and messed up didn't work when i changed the batteries but now i have two so hopefully they work got home from work instantly changed for the gym and we we're about to head out and go and get this workout finished because the sooner we go the earlier we are home and the closer we are to relaxing hey get out <laughs> you know you're not allowed in here come on come on come on let's go uh -uh. turn around okay just belly flop onto the front of my door where I can't shut it now. Okay. Hi, little boobies. Hi. Hi. I don't know why, but I mean, I got up at the same time that I usually do, even when I work from home, and I feel so exhausted. <laughs> I mean, probably because I was actually like moving around doing stuff and, you know, holding things up on the wall. So I actually use my body more today than when I'm working from home. I mean, even though when I'm at home, I work and I do a lot of house stuff, throwing the garbage away, cleaning up the kitchen, doing laundry, going up and down the stairs. So I still get moving in even when I'm at home. Like I, I try to keep busy, but I was trying like not to fall asleep 
on <laughs> the ride home. I, every time that I drive home, I always feel so sleepy. But then I have to like put the music up high and try to keep myself alert because people drive like psychos. It is so nice outside. It's not super hot today, but the sun is out. So we're definitely taking a nice walk after our workout. y'all just finished our leg workout i'm just sitting in my car for a second catching my breath collecting myself before i go on this mile walk around the lake and around the neighborhood here uh the hip machine was harder than usual today i know that the machine was broken the other day because there was a sign on it so i don't know if they changed the resistance like the rubber strings that are on there so they're a lot tougher now because I usually can do higher weight. And then today it was like a little bit harder to actually get my legs up on the bench and whatnot. So I don't know, but feeling good. I'm going to take these out. I don't, if I'm walking with somebody or if I have something to listen to, I'll wear my AirPods to go on walks. But I like to be aware of my surroundings, who's talking to me, who's walking by me because... You never know what crazy people are out there in the world who are watching you. I'm a little bit paranoid, you know, but the world is a crazy place nowadays, so it's always better to be safe than sorry, right? What's nice about where I walk is there's usually a lot of people walking and there's a park, so there's usually kids and stuff, so I feel a little bit safer, but sometimes I go into these one spots where there's not that many people, but there's cars, so, you know, you got to be able to hear if somebody's hopping out of their car to come grab you and kidnap you. So let's go on this walk and then I am probably going to go home, shower, and then head to my aunt's for dinner. I'm not sure if I want to go over there straight from the gym just because I like to be clean and shower. I don't want to have to shower after dinner, you know, I want to like wash off the day and then enjoy my meal. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. So let's get down. Currently listening to some Kendall Ray. She's a true crime YouTuber and I love watching her videos. I find them so interesting and heartbreaking because it's honestly insane to me the things that people do, how obvious and how much evidence there are against certain people and how much they're able to get away with. It blows my mind, but um, I feel like that's also why I get so paranoid. I just hear about all these crazy stories of things that happen to people. So I feel like I try to be very vigilant and aware of my surroundings at all times. So yeah, I have a little over 0.3 miles left until I get my mile done. And then I'm gonna go home, shower, freshen up, and then go eat some dinner. I think we're eating Chinese food tonight. So I'm excited. One mile complete, now it's time to go home are you lit right now he's like running around the entire house and look how much he's scratched up this uh whatever this is called a trim on this door he loves doing that shit he loves playing around with it messing with it like it's a scratch pad and it's not look who's waiting for me <laughs> I heard him literally running around all the upstairs while I was in the shower, some banging going on. What the heck? Are you being crazy right now? Are you being crazy? Well, now you're chilling, but 
He's so cute. This literally smells so good. It is the Sol de Janeiro Pistachio and Salted Caramel? Caramel, however you pronounce it, I don't know. Smells so good. I'm literally more than halfway done with it. I don't know what scent I should get next. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. But I spray this like, I don't know, in the morning. Or actually, no, I spray this like before I go to the gym, after I shower. I just love smelling like this scent. It is so good. Heading out to my aunt's house and then I have my bag not packed but it's sitting here ready to go so when I get home I can just throw a few things in there and then go to my boyfriend's house. I really cannot tell. I mean it looks really blue here because um, we have this like little mosquito bug light thing attached to the wall but I don't know if that would look good in my room or not. Like I'm thinking maybe like over the bed to add something to this wall because all of these are so plain. Like I really don't have anything hanging up because I don't want to have so much stuff that maybe over time I don't like it. Um, I know whenever I move out, I have less things I need to bring, but I really don't have much on my walls in general besides like right here. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. Yes, we are a household that puts on some music, you know, jazz, coffee shop vibes for the cat so he can relax when he's home alone. All right, I'm gonna go eat dinner. I love you. Go sleep on your little flamingo bed. <laughs> Just got to my aunt's house and let me tell you, one of the best feelings ever is leaving your school bag at home. You don't have to worry about bringing your laptop or your iPad or your notebooks because the semester is coming to an end and you're pretty caught up with things. It is truly the best. It feels like a weight lifted off where I can kind of breathe better. So dramatic, but it really is the best feeling. What sucks though, is that some of my teachers like have the assignments closed until a certain date. So I can't work ahead, which doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand why teachers do that because then I could actually give myself a break before the summer semester starts. Cause I don't really think I have that much of a gap in between spring and summer. I have to check that still, but it's kind of annoying. But whatever. What I'm really glad is that I had a case study due, which was like a small, like two page essay about Apple and Amazon's supply chain, like manufacturing and what's different about them, how you would fix their issues, things like that. And I knocked that out yesterday. So I'm really happy about that. I go inside and get some dinner. <laughs> Moosey. Moosey. <laughs> Back from dinner. Love that you're just sitting on the cutting board with your butt cheeks all over it. I'm obviously home now and I decided I'm not gonna do the Louis Vuitton print in here because it's just not, it's not the vibe. But this mirror I think kind of ties in a little bit of like the brown and the whites going on in my room. So I could probably put that there. I don't really think it makes sense here. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, I am packing for my boyfriend's house because I'm spending the night. I don't really have anything to bring because I just come back and work for my house. So I'm just gonna bring the clothes that I'm wearing right now. I had ended up having to change my pants again because the dog, Moose, the lab you guys saw a few clips back, he is so, so slobbery. It's like, you can't like, every time you're with him, you got slobber all over your pants. It's unavoidable. And I tried.